We're just one week away from the start of school for most Minnesota students. Now's the time parents are adjusting the time kids go to sleep. So is there an ideal bedtime for kids? Good question. Here's Heather Brown. What's your bedtime? Nine o'clock. With school, I go to bed early. He's got a, he's got a lot of bedtimes. <laughs> and with no school? Later. We set bedtime so that um, they would be cheery <laughs> when they got up in the morning. Uh, did that work? It did work. When I asked for kid bedtimes on Facebook, I got everything from 7 to 1030. Is there an ideal bedtime? Not a specific ideal bedtime. Dr. Roxanne Pritchard is a neuroscientist who specializes in sleep. And what you want to do is count backwards from when you need to wake up. What time is school starting? 9.30. So the most important thing to consider first is how much sleep do kids need? Teenagers, 8 to 10 hours a day, 6 to 12 year olds, 9 to 12 hours, and ages 3 to 5, 10 to 13 hours in a 24 hour period. So if we have a 7 o'clock bus, we need maybe 6.15 wake up time, go back 10 hours, and you're around 8, 8.15. But what you'll want to do is remember that you can't just fall asleep, you need to factor in wind down time before that. You sometimes ask mom for just a little more yeah. time. So you'd probably want to get ready for bed at 7.30. How much can parents manipulate a child's bedtime? Or do, or do the kids just have an internal clock? Both. <laughs> I'm a night owl. Is that true, Dad? It's very true. <laughs> I've got one night kid and one morning kid. And that's a thing. That's a thing. That is a genetic thing. It's kind of really cool. But um, what we're responsible for is try to protect that bedtime. She says routines are key. Take away the fun devices. We usually put on some essential oils. Maybe a hot bath. Don't you read under yeah. the covers? Consistency helps our body wind down for sleep and also wake up so that waking up doesn't feel like such an ordeal. So who's looking forward to school? Who's ready to go? In St. Paul. Okay. <laughs> Heather Brown. Thank you, everyone. WCCO 4 News. Our expert also says don't let the kids stay up late on Fridays and Saturdays. It takes our bodies a day to shift an hour. So that means if you're up two hours past your bedtime on weekends, kids really aren't adjusted again until Tuesday or Wednesday.